Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is dividing whole numbers. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. So here's our, our essential questions. How do we divide multi-digit whole numbers? Okay, so here we go. You're going to hear a lot of background noises. I'm I'm waiting to pick up my wife from work. She works at a hospital, so you just, you're just going to hear a lot of background noises, traffic and airplanes and all that stuff. Anyways, so here's a review of some uh, vocabulary with division. So when we divide 4, divide, goes into 24. The 24 that's getting divided by the 4 is called the dividend, and the 4 that's going into it is called the divisor. And our answer is the quotient. So, so it's our dividend that gets divided by the divisor, and that gives us our quotient right here. Okay, so the divisor goes into the dividend, and it gets us our quotient. All right. All right, so here we go. We're going to estimate some quotients here in this first problem. So a local zoo has a total of 98,736 visitors last year. The zoo was open every day except for three holidays. On average, about how many visitors did the zoo have each day? Okay, so the key words right here are estimating and about. So we can estimate by doing some rounding here. So to estimate the number of visitors per day, we can divide the total number of visitors by the number of days. And so to estimate the quotient, we first estimate the dividend, which is this right here, because we're dividing into this number right here. The dividend, by rounding uh, the number of visitors, we're going to round it to the nearest 10 thousandths, okay? So 98,736 rounded to the nearest 10 thousandths, okay? So here's the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands. Here's the 10 thousandths. So is this 9 going to round up to 100,000, or is it going to round to 90,000? Well, 98,000 is closest to 100,000, so we'll round that up to 100,000, okay? And there were 366 days because it was a leap year, okay? So 365 days on regular years, but leap years is 366 days. How many days was uh, the zoo open? Well, remember, it was closed uh, three holidays, so if we take off three of that, that's going to give us 363 days right there, okay? All right, so estimate the divisor by rounding the number of days that the zoo was open to the nearest hundred, okay? So we're going to round 363. Is this going to, okay, this is in the ones, here's the tens, here's the hundreds. Is this 300 going to be closer to, th 363, is it closer to 300 or 400? It's closer to 400, so we're going to round that by 400, okay? Let's slide that up right there, okay? All right, so now what we're going to do is estimate. So we're going to estimate the quotient. We're going to plug in 100,000. We're going to divide that by the 400 we're estimating right here. Now watch this trick right here. If this ends in a couple of zeros, we can take off two zeros right here, okay? Nice little trick right there. So we're left with 1,000 divided by 4. Well, 100 divided by 4 is 25, so we got an extra 0 there, so it's 25 with an extra 0, so 250 right there. So the, the average number of visitors per day last year was about 250 right there, okay? All right, how can we check that our quotient is correct? Well, what we can do is multiply the divisor and the quotient, and if that product is equal to the dividend, then the quotient would be correct. So we'd, we'd multiply this divisor by this quotient right here, so 400 times 250, and if that gives us 100,000, it would, because uh, 4 times 25 is 100, plus 1, 0, plus these two red guys right there would give us 100,000 right there. Okay, so that's how we can check to see if it's correct. Do we think that our estimate is our estimate is greater than or less than the actual number? Well, I think it's going to be less than, you guys, because uh, the divisor was rounded up to 100,000, so it's going to probably be a little bit less than the, uh, our, our estimate's going to be a little bit less than the actual right there. So the actual, this is going to be a little bit less than that, so I don't know, a little bit more than 250, maybe 270, something like that. I don't know, we'll see. We're going to do that right here. So the exact average number of visitors. Now, hopefully you guys know this uh, little symbol means number, so I'm, I'm saving some room right here so I can write it. So the exact average number, that's what this says right here, of visitors per day at the zoo is the quotient of, uh, the quotient means divided by 98,736 and 363. So we're going to go ahead and use long division to find that right here. So here we go. The same problem, and we're going to find on average how many visitors did the zoo have each day. It's the exact same problem. So we're going to go ahead and divide. 363 is going to divide into 98,736. Okay, so now we look at 363. Well, it's greater than 9. It's greater than the next two digits, 
998. So we're going to go into 987. So we're going to divide 987 by 363. Remember, it's a leap year, so um, uh, so we took off three from 366. Okay. All right. So here we go. So I, I just estimated right here. So Here's 363 times 2 is 726. 363 times 3 is 1089. Well, that's going to be too much for that. So we're going to do this 2 right here. So we're going to multiply it by 2. Okay. And then uh, then we subtract right there. So 7 minus 6 is 1. 8 minus 2 is 6. And then 9 minus 7 is 2. Do you remember what we do now? We're going to slide down this next digit right here. So let's go ahead and bring down that tens digit right here. And then we do it again. We do 363. We're going to divide that into into this number right here, 2613. Okay. So now I just think of this as somewhere close to 400 and think of this as 24. 400 so 400 times 6 would get us 2400 so I multiplied it times 6 and times 7 right here okay so here's 363 times 6 gave us 2178 so if we did it times 7 2541 that's just underneath that so it's going to be 7 so let's go ahead and put the 7 up there okay now we're going to go ahead and subtract okay and we get 72 now we'll bring down that ones digit right there that 6 and then uh, 363 times uh, 2 will get us that 726. So when we subtract, we get 0. Okay, let's answer the question now. So the average number of visitors per day last year at the zoo was 272 people each day. Okay, all right. Some would probably be more. Some would probably be less. Okay, so here we go. Find the quotient of 34,989 divided by 321. Okay, so here we go. All right, so we're going to divide uh, 321 goes into 349 one time. So let's go ahead and subtract. Okay, when we subtract, we get 28. We'll bring the next number down. All right, 321 goes into 288. It doesn't. It's not big enough. So we do need to put a zero there because it's we're going to bring down another nine after we bring the zero. So let's put a zero right here and then... Uh, um, 0 times 321 is 0. Then we subtract and slide the next number down. Okay, so let's bring the 9 down. Okay, now 2,888, we're going to divide that by 321. I think it's about 9 times right there. So if we multiply it by 9, we get exactly 2,889. So we get the remainder of 0. So that quotient equals 109 right there. Now the trick was, was that 0 right here. We had to be careful because uh, we had to divide this number divided by that number, and we can't get any groups of 321 in there, so we had to put the zero in there for the place value, okay? Just be careful on that right there, okay? All right, so, all right, uh, here we're going to divide with the remainder. So David has 1,850 rocks. He is packing them into boxes that have 12 rocks each. How many boxes will he need to pack all his rocks? Okay, so we're going to divide the 1,850 divided by 12. Okay, so 12 goes into 18 one time. Okay, and then we subtract and we get uh, 6, and then we'll bring the 5 down. 12 times um, 5 is 60, so we'll go ahead and multiply it by 5 and then subtract and then bring the, um, uh, the next number down, which is that 0 right there. And then 12 times 4 is 48, so we'll go ahead and put the 4 right here. All right, there's no more numbers to bring down, so we have a remainder of 2. So our quotient is, we start at the top, 154 with the remainder of 2. So you can write it like this, 154 with the R. The R means remainder 2. Or you can write it like a mixed number, so we can write it as start at the top, 154 and 2 twelfths. That's what this says right there. And then 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 12 six times. So we can reduce this 2 over 12 to 1 over 6. All right, now let's answer the question, you guys. This is not the answer. So we want to know how many boxes David will need. All right, well, he's going to need 154 full boxes, but he's going to need a, uh, 155 boxes to, to pack all his rocks. One box is going to have just a few rocks left in it. It's only going to have two rocks left in it right there. But David's going to need... 155 boxes in that. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Hope you're having a great year. Take care.